Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Uh, I'm super excited in light of the new update that's coming out in about less than a month. Uh, we're gonna start building some equipment to start working on that update, so to speak. Uh, so let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into the workbench and let's start building. We are gonna be building a front loader today. All right, we are in the workbench. I'm not sure that we'll be able to get all of it done today, but we'll start working on it. Uh, I think I'm gonna start with the engines first. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves an engine down and then we can build things around that engine and then start working from there. So I think we're gonna build a three by three modular engine for this thing. And I think we are gonna go with a four cylinder. We're gonna make this thing a big boy. Uh, it's gonna have a big boy diesel engine, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some Cylinders here. Uh, we'll put those down. Uh, we're gonna need our belt drive that can go on the front here and we're gonna grab uh, Let's go ahead and grab a clutch and plop it down right there. Perfect uh, Let's see first thing I want to do is actually get coolant done and coolant out of the way I think coolant's kind of the hardest thing to work around So I think once you get your coolant done, it's pretty easy to kind of figure out where your air goes your exhaust and your fuel from there as far as these go i think maybe we'll use a bunch of uh the medium electric radiators and that probably needs to be on both sides uh probably uh so let's double that up okay we'll go ahead and place those down we've got those on both sides perfect uh now we're going to pipe these together i'm just going to do this like that and we'll go ahead and say we'll put one like that and we'll put one like that We'll close these up together and that should work like that. Now we could use the pump that goes here with the belt drive, but we're actually gonna use the medium pumps. Uh, they actually move a lot more liquid than that pump can actually use. So that's what we're gonna do because it's gonna move more liquid through the system. Uh, as soon as I can get this to place the right way. Let's do... Where do I want this to hook up at? Okay, stop stop bouncing on me. Okay, so we'll do that there. That is out. Okay, so we'll grab pipe piece here. Uh, pipe piece here. Come on, rotate. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and then we'll need to come up, to go into the actual engine coolant manifold. Hmm, do I want to do it like that or do I want to do it... I think I'm gonna do it like that, just so, are we off this a little bit? No, we're good, we're good here. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, we need some straight pipes. Uh, so we'll do one there, one there. We do one there, there, and there. All right, so let's come back and we'll connect these guys up right here like so. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, so now that is a looped system there for coolant and we have coolant on both sides, which is perfect. So we're, we're over cooling here. Uh, so that's a different alternative of how you can do this versus using the actual belt drive there. Uh, let's go back to our modular engine parts. Uh, I do want to get a starter. Uh, we'll do a couple starters there. If we need more, we can add more, but I don't think we'll need more than two. We'll see how it goes. All right, from here, we're going to want to do some air. Uh, so let's find our air manifold piece here. Let's put that right there so to speak i'm not sure if that's gonna be the angle that we need uh let's go back to our pumps we are going to turbocharge this so let's make sure that we can get that nice and neat and laid out um let's see the black end there is going to be our import uh so maybe something like what if we turn them sideways uh say like this okay i just turned it back the way it was uh, what if it was like that? Okay, so let's put a block. Can we not put blocks on any of these? Okay, how about like that? We'll do a pump. We'll put the pump here in the middle and we'll rotate until we can find the right way. Uh, that, that, that'll work, that'll work like that. Okay, so we'll take this, let's delete this. Let's go find our air. Uh, we'll get a couple filters here. We'll slap those down and then this piece here needs to rotate because it's not gonna work. We'll do like that. We'll get a couple elbows, elbow, elbow, and a straight piece. There we go. Now we are turbocharged. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, let's see, uh, what do we have left? We have exhaust and we have fuel. So let's bring our exhaust. I'm thinking, actually, you know what? Let's do this. I wanna do a liquid to liquid or a liquid, maybe the liquid air, liquid to liquid. 
Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Let's just put one in for now, and we'll see what that looks like. And that's the inside, so we'll need to flip that around. Okay, that's flowing out. Nice. Okay, so hmm. What do I want to do from here to cool this down? Do we even need that? I don't know if we'll need that because I'm going to be running at low RPS. We're not hauling containers and things like that. I don't think we'll need the extra cooling there. If we do, we can always come back and do it. Uh, let's grab our, let's go back to mods, modular engines. Uh, I want the fuel manifold here. So we'll do that like that. And we also want to come out with some exhaust and let's go straight up with the exhaust. Maybe go straight up with the exhaust right here. Okay, let's get ourselves a couple of catalytic converters here. And I say, we'll just plop two down there and an exhaust, uh, exhaust. There we go. All right, so now what else do we need? We've got dual exhaust, dual superchargers, coolant. We've got fuel coming in. I think that's it other than trying to find a way to maybe super cool this if we need to. Let's, I'm having a brain fart here all of a sudden. Uh, we're gonna need some batteries. You know what, let's, let's, let's make this a, almost an, like an all-in-one kind of engine here. Uh, we'll slap some batteries there, there, and there. Now we have six batteries on this thing. Perfect, okay. That's nice. Let's go ahead and go back to our modular engine parts. Let's grab a couple alternators. Not much, just to keep these batteries charged up so we can stay cranking. Are there any other parts that we need that I haven't come across? I don't think we do have any. Uh, da, 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 da. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, a microcontroller would be nice. Let me grab that. All right, so we're gonna put our engine microcontroller down right there. Uh, I am using the ZE microcontroller. I'll leave a link down below if you guys wanna use that for yourself and for your own builds. Uh, it's really simple. It just, it's kind of plug and play. It, it's, it's real nice. Uh, so let's come in here and let's find all of our points here to start connecting up. Uh, air, we're gonna go to air, air. Uh, water pump clutches, we'll do that. We'll also put it on this clutch for now. Uh, I don't think we need it there, but that's where we're gonna go. Starters, we'll go ahead and go to starters. Uh, fan, on oh, no. oh, that's the part of the fan there. Okay, so let's get to where we can actually see what we're looking at here. Uh, crankshaft RPS, do we have crankshaft RPS? Here we go. Fuel manifolds, we can go there and there with that. Uh, what are we missing here? An on off, so we do need a switch. So we'll grab a key for now. Let's go ahead and just plop, say, we'll just plop this key down in the middle here. We can always move that. So we got a key to go to there. I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, on off, throttle value. Okay, so we do need a throttle. We'll plop that down right there. Uh, let's see, that number will come down into the throttle portion there. Let's go to composite. We do have to connect the crankshaft up with composite. Other than that, I don't think there's anything here. Oh, let's take our key and let's turn on all our fans here because that's important. Let's turn on our pumps here. Let's turn on our pumps here. And let's turn on all these fans here. All right, uh, so far so good, looking great. I don't see anything else that we need here. Let's go ahead and take this down to a fraction of a second. Uh, we need fuel. We need some fuel and we'll need something to kind of restrict here. So let's go get ourselves a gearbox. The, the big gearbox here, because it's a big engine, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want, but I think it looks better with a, a natural size gearbox on here. Uh, we're gonna grab a gin. We're just gonna slap a generator on there. So now we've got some resistance here on our engine. Let's bring our fluid pipes here for the fuel back around. Uh, let's go like that. You can do that. Let's get a T piece. All right, got that T piece. Let's turn that. Let's do that. And now we can get ourselves a tank. And I think for the sake of this build, we're going to need a big tank. It's going to take a big one. Are we actually hooked up to it? No, we're not. We are not hooked up to it. And I'm not going to like the area of this fuel tank. We'll probably end up moving it as we keep building. We just need one for right now. Is that going to work? That is gonna work. Okay, so let's take our T-piece. Let's change how it is laid out here. Okay, come on, get in there. There we go. We'll turn that. We'll get ourselves an elbow. 
we'll connect that and now we have fuel okay so technically oh we need battery power battery power let's take this uh here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna connect all of them to this one here and then from this one do i have room i do have room i'm gonna put a breaker down is that the right way that's the right way so that if we have to change our batteries for any reason we all we have to do is change the batteries we don't have to change all of our connections back up so we connect to the back of the relay we take the relay point and that is going to give us all of our connection points for everything else uh, make sure i get everything connected here a lot of stuff to do okay boop 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 all right and let's just hover over this make sure everything is connected but those batteries uh it looks like it is what is not connected here Okay, so our alternators, let's, uh, we need to unhook those. And those need to go straight to this battery here. But even if the engine's off and there's rotation, it's still going to charge that last little bit. Okay, uh, now let's take some paint. Let's change colors here. I think a nice orange color will be good for this build. Orange or yellow? Ooh, orange or yellow? Hmm. Maybe like an orangish gold? yeah see i think yeah i think this is the one right there i think that's the one right there i think that's it all right i think for the sake of this build i am actually going to do a another cooling system so let's take these we're going to branch off here we're going to do an air to liquid exchanger uh this will be kind of neat let's take this and we'll slap that down there is this our import here that is our out port so let's flop that around Nope, not that way. Let's go that way. And that's our import now. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna grab ourselves some more pumps like this and we're gonna stick one, say right there. Should we get another one on here? Um, will that look all right? Uh, that might be a little excessive. I think it's a little excessive. How about one on the backside here to pull pull through? I think that might work. Okay, so let's go grab ourselves some airports again. Air. Uh, we'll get the air rams. I think those will look nice on here. And we'll do like that. And let's turn it around outwards like that. I think that's pretty perfect. Uh, so now we've got air running through. Uh, let's hook this up. All right, so as air moves through, it's cooling this unit down here, which is cooling the liquid that runs through it, which has already been cooled by the radiator system. And it's just going to be a constant loop. Uh, so that should help out our cooling a big amount uh let's go down to our engine controller and i've already got it set on 10 so that's perfect we don't need to change that um i think other than that we are good to go here let's let's paint everything up everything needs to be that color uh, i don't want any any discrepancies here you know what let's let's try to make things look a little natural here we would not have yellow radiators it would be more of a silver color so let's do that. We paint that silver. Uh, let's paint all our switches silver. We can do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure the backside's yellow. Yep. We'll bucket that. There we go. Perfect. Uh, the tank. Oops, I didn't want to change everything. Just want to change the tank color and that gearbox. Our highlighting is done with pipes, uh, which is pretty cool. And we can build from there. Uh, let's spawn this in. Oh, that was kind of a rough hit. Let's see if this thing actually cranks up and see if we can actually go from there. Okay, so circuit breaker on. The key is on. We are cranking. All right, what are we not getting? Oh, no, we're running. We are running. There you go, guys. And you can barely hear it. You can barely hear it run. It is just very quiet. 96% efficiency. We're doing good. Uh, we're not generating a whole lot of watts right now. I didn't do anything to the gearbox because we. Do, this is not how we're going to be running things. But I just need to have some resistance on the engine. And we're sucking fuel. So there you go, guys. There is our engine for our front loader that we're going to be building. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. Uh, we are going to be continuing on. I think next we're going to be building the body of this thing. And then from the body, we're going to be building the front loader itself. Uh, and there might be some 
some builds in between there. If you are enjoying this build series, make sure you let me know with a thumbs up, comment down below on what you'd like to see me do with this build and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We're gonna be continuing on with this build as well as our classic career series. So yeah, thanks so much guys for watching. I appreciate you 100% and we will see you in the next one.